Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Elizabeth, if you're new. I'm doing a Walmart haul today, so let's hop into it. I love Walmart clothes. They have so many awesome things. I'm actually going to do like a keep a return style video. So the first outfit is the dress that I'm wearing. Um, love it. Love the dress. It's so cute. It's nice and soft. The quality is not too bad. And I will try to put the prices on the screen and I'm also going to link everything below, but this dress is just a little too big on me. I usually order a size extra large or a size 12 in all of my clothes and recently I've really been hitting the gym and eating some vegetables and I think it's paying off so this dress is just like a little big on me. I also don't think that it gives me like a good figure like it just kind of feels like I disappear in it. Uh, if it was just like a little bit more snug in the waist I would totally be into it. Also if it was just a little shorter I don't like dresses that come just up to my knee. I like them to be either midi length or like a mini dress like a couple of inches above my knee but like long enough because like I got a big booty so we still got to make sure it's long enough for my girl back here. <laughs> but this dress is very cute. I think if I would have gotten it in a large I would totally keep it but unfortunately I am going to be returning this one. Next I have this super duper cute chunky sweater. It's like a cable knit sweater and then it kind of has like this braided little detail on the sleeves and then on the left shoulder it's a peekaboo. There's no peekaboo on the right shoulder but it's so cute and I really love this. I love the color. Again I do kind of wish that I would have gotten a large. I would say it's true to size because prior to myself hitting the gym and eating vegetables this definitely would have fit me just fine. I'm also like a little on the shorter end so I just feel like things are just always kind of long on me in general. But this is a really cute sweater. It's nice and thick. I think it'll keep me really warm when I wear it tonight. So I am going to keep this. It'll be great for the 20 degree weather that we're going to have tonight and also for the 15 degrees that's coming up next week. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this a couple times within the next few days. Okay, next is another top. This is from the Allegra K line at Walmart. And I actually didn't realize this when I bought it, but the sleeves are kind of a little bit puffed out, which I think is really cute, like their blouse, basically. I love the metallic color. Silver is super pretty. I'm pretty sure it's still trending, although I can't keep up with the trends these days. So I just pretty much buy what I like as long as it doesn't look like too out of style. This is really cute. And I wasn't thinking that I was going to keep this. But when I put it on, I actually ended up really liking it. I was pleasantly surprised with how much I liked this top. It's so cute. And I think it'll be a nice addition to, let me show you. These shoes are not from Walmart, but I did get these Vans for Christmas. And I think that they will be so cute with this top. I mean, I just love pink and silver together. And I love these. I love this combo. I'm excited to wear it, as you can see. Next, I have this hat from the Time and True brand, I believe. Yes, from Walmart, and it, it's so cute. I love it. It says Bad Hair Day on it. They have so many cute ball caps at Walmart. Every time I go, I feel like I either like love them and want to buy one, or I do buy one. <laughs> and I also didn't know if I was going to keep this when I first unboxed it, but it's really cute, and like I said, I've been going to the gym, and sometimes I just don't want to worry about my ponytail, so I'll just pop this on and get going on the treadmill. So I'm gonna keep this, super cute. All right, I have another really cute sweater. This is from the brand No Boundaries at Walmart. I like the No Boundaries line, but it is a little bit more like, I'd say Y2K these days. And I really like this sweater, it's so cute. So if you're like Y2K style, this is for you. I love it. I think it's really cute. However, I don't really care for it on me. It gives me like a little bit of hippie vibes, which is just not quite my style, but it's really, really, really adorable. I really think if that's like your vibe, you should totally buy it. And it's really affordable. I think it was only like $16. I don't know. The price isn't on here, but it'll be in the description. And I just like the sleeves. It's very fun. It's different. I like how it ties in the front versus buttoning or zipping. And it kind of has like a little bit of a crop top look to it. So it's just really cute. I really like this. But again, it's just not 
quite for me. So unfortunately I'm going to return this. I really love everything I bought, even the things that I'm going to return. They just didn't quite work out for me. So I highly recommend everything in this video. Just throwing that out there. I also got this bodysuit. This is from Sofia Vergara. Love Sofia Vergara's stuff. This is awesome. Love this bodysuit. It's blending in with my dress. Kind of has a little bit of a Skims vibe to it. I would say it's a good dupe for that. I do have a Skims bodysuit and honestly, as much as I like this one, I would say if you can afford it, Skims would be a better choice. But I do really like this. It's a very good dupe. Um, I would say I love how it has this midsection area that's kind of like meant to give you some shape. It's like straight, it doesn't like bend very much, you know what I mean? So it's gonna smooth you out. You could also probably wear this as shapewear maybe, depending on what you were going to wear over top of it. I would say this is definitely going to be returned for me though, however, because I have a big bum and, <laughs> like a big bum, and I have a long torso. Most bodysuits are really hard for me to button. <laughs> I could probably step into it, but it's just a little bit uncomfortable. Like it kind of gets bunched up right here, like on my like love handle area. <laughs> Still working on that at the gym, you know? But this is an extra large, so I don't think it's so much about the size versus just the shape. It just doesn't suit my body type, but it's really cute, and I'm actually very bummed. This was something I was a little torn. I was almost going to keep it, but just because it keeps getting bunched up at my lower back, I'm deciding to return it. Because a lot of times if I buy a bodysuit, honestly, you guys, I just don't button it. I think that, like, it looks just as good, like, for me, and I hide the, you know, tail so that it doesn't, like, peek out of my pants which is how I have it in the video, but most of the time, it's just really hard for me to button bodysuits. Like I said, I know I could step into it, but they just, bodysuits just tend to be really uncomfortable because my torso is so long. It's so bizarre how I'm so short, but yet, like my torso is really long. It's really interesting. And then I have these jeans. These are Levi Strauss button, the button. They're so cute. I love the wash, love the color, love the pockets. The cargo pocket, super cute. The back pockets are also really cute. They make my bum look pretty good, but they're really long on me. If I could just switch my upper body and my lower body, I'd be able to keep just about everything in this haul. But as you can see, there is quite a distance from the waist to like the legs, like where my legs spread. <laughs> I don't know how you, how you word that. The crotch area of these pants is quite long. Um, that is meant for someone with long legs. I don't understand why if you're a size 12 that that automatically means you have long legs. Like look, I'm holding them up and they're touching the ground. And when I hold them up, like just the bottom, the very bottom is touching the ground. They're not like sinking there. And they come up to my boobs. So I don't understand why because I'm a size like 10 to 12, mainly 12, that that means my legs are really long. There's a lot of women out there who our legs are short, but we're still a size 12. Like I don't understand why it's always that ratio of like you're a super tall, long-legged woman if you're a size 12. Okay, y'all, it's time for the grand finale. Scoop shoes. Wait till you guys see these. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I haven't pulled them out of the box since I First got them. I haven't tried them on yet. I really hope they fit. <laughs> that would have been a good thing to do before I started the video because I'm going to be really sad if they don't fit. But regardless, how cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. I don't even know how high this heel is. And these were a good chunk of change for Walmart. These were $48, but I'm going to tell you what. They're really good quality. They're really, really cute and super trendy. So worth the price if that's something you can afford. Oh, you guys. <laughs> These are so cute. Can you see them? They're so cute. They're so big, though. I feel so tall right now. Well, I'm not, but I feel tall. 
They're actually pretty comfortable because of the platform in the front. And yeah, very, very cute. Y'all, they're so cute. I love these, I'm so in love. Excuse the mess, I'm trying to still put Christmas stuff away clearly, but yeah, these are awesome. I love them. I don't think I would roll my jeans with them, I just did that so you guys could see the boots. But these are a total keep, 100% forever.